Hi and welcome to the cocktail vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a coffee cocktail. So this one is quite surprising. It's, I believe it's named after its resemblance to coffee because it doesn't actually have any coffee in the drink. Uh, I remember making this like probably at least 10 to 15 years ago for the first time. I haven't made it in a long time, but it's, it's really delicious. It's got some spicy notes because you add freshly grated nutmeg onto the top. Uh, it's, it's rich and it works really well for people who like Kahlua or white Russians. So I actually found this recently. Um, this random looking bottle that doesn't have a label or anything. I actually had it sitting on the shelf for years, had no idea what it was. And then I discovered on the top, there's a little P. So I assumed that it was gonna be a port. And much to my surprise, when I opened it, it was. So this recipe calls for a tawny port. Uh, what is a tawny? Uh, it's a blend of different vintages of port. And it's generally uh, aged for a minimum of three years. This is not allowed to be a called port. It is made locally in Australia. So it's a, a fortified wine but I'm gonna substitute it and it's still gonna work very well in this particular cocktail. So you're gonna add 60 ml or two ounces of your 20 port or fortified wine, followed by a brandy, one ounce, 30 ml. And again, I'm keeping it local with a South Australian brandy, followed by half an ounce, 15 mil of one-to-one -one simple syrup. And then we're gonna use a full egg. So crack that over the top, make sure you don't get any uh, eggshell in your drink. It's actually probably smarter to crack the egg first, but, but hey. So now given that you've got a whole egg, you wanna give it a dry shake first. So add ice to your cocktail shaker and give it a really hot shake. And now strain into your chilled stemmed cocktail glass. I also recently had someone uh, get a little bit annoyed with me for not double straining my cocktails. Reason being is whenever I use citrus in my cocktails, I always pre-strain or pre-double strain uh, the, like the lemon or the lime juice or the orange juice when I actually squeeze it. So there's no need to, to strain out the pulp. Um, I use good quality ice, so it doesn't tend to shard like it would if you use really cheap ice. Uh, and also the, the coils on this particular strainer, uh, this one here, it is actually quite tight and you can push it forward a little bit. So there's actually very minimal, if any, uh, ice shards that come through here. So if you want a double strain, go right ahead. I'm making drinks for myself and showing people how to make drinks at home. So if you want to, it's completely up to you. But there you have the, the coffee cocktail and for garnish, grate some fresh nutmeg over the top. So I'd say rather than looking like, like a latte or a coffee, it probably looks more like a like the resemblance of like a hot chocolate. A little bit darker, a little bit richer. Definitely smells like that, you get that spiciness from the nutmeg straight away. A lot of spice, a little bit of a sweet note to it as well. Oh. And it tastes incredibly rich. Nice thick texture to it. I haven't had these in so long, but they're really damn good. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.